Okay, good evening everyone and um, welcome back to our discussion for this evening. So for tonight, we will be discussing all about electric potential and also electric potential energy. Okay, so here, when we say electric potential, electric potential, the symbol for electric potential is we have capital letter V. So electric potential is equal to we have the electric potential energy we have we call it as pe or we can also have it as capital letter u but for uh here we will be using capital letter u for the electric potential energy okay so now this is again electric potential energy okay so electric potential energy divided by this is our point charge so on the previous discussion we have already discussed uh, all about point charge kokinsanesi point charge okay so when we solve for the electric potential v it is just equal to the electric potential energy u divided by the point charge q Okay, so how about the unit for the electric potential? Unit for electric potential is volt or capital letter V or we can also have it as volts if plural. So 1 volt is equivalent to, we have, this is 1 joule or joules per coulomb. So, because... Diba, si uh, formula for electric potential is we have electric potential energy divided by Q. So, the unit for potential energy or energy, work and energy as a whole is in terms of joule or joules. Whereas, the unit for point charge is we have coulomb or coulombs. So, that's why we have 1 volt is equal to we have 1 joule per 1 coulomb or 1 joule per coulomb so again remember the unit for the electric potential is in terms of volt or volts okay so now here how can we relate electric potential to the voltage so see voltage is defined as the electric potential difference so when we say electric potential difference it is the change in the electric potential or we have delta or we can call it as delta v so delta v is equal to again when we say change change in the electric potential it must be final electric potential minus the initial value of the electric potential so let's say for example we have a resistor r which has points a and b so let's say for example point b is our uh, uh we get the electric potential difference from point a to point b so it means na c v or c a point a is our initial electric potential and point b is our final electric potential so let's say for example point a is equal to 20 volts and point b is equal to 80 volts so this means na point a or 20 volts is our electric potential at point a and 80 volts is our electric potential at point b or we have v sub v sub a and v sub b so to solve for the electric potential difference or the voltage we have v sub b or vb minus va okay so now take note now we can have two different potential differences or electric potential differences so it's either kung asa ka or asa, asa ka nga point mag start so we have, let's say, we are solving for 
um, the electric potential difference from point A to point B. So we have VBA. So VBA is VB minus VA. So it means na VB is our final value and VA is our initial value. So notice the sequence here sa difference and also the subscript here. So kung kinsay mauna nga point, in this case, nag-una si point B. So, point B will be our final value. And then, th the next is our initial value, which is VA. So, if we also want to solve VAB, it means na si point A is our final value minus VB as our initial value. So, again, as I have mentioned, now, we, we can solve electric, the electric potential difference in two ways. So, it's either VBA, which is equal to VB minus VA, or we can also have, or we can also solve for the electric potential difference at point AB. So, which means now we have VA minus VB. So, now, if we want to solve for VBA, so, again, it is equal to VB minus VA. So, our VB is 80 volts minus VA is 20 volts. So, our VBA is equal to 60 volts. Whereas, if we want to solve for VAB, we have VA minus VB. So, we have 20 volts minus 80 volts. So, our VAB is equal to negative 60 volts. So, that is how you would solve for the electric potential difference. So, notice also na our unit for the electric potential difference is same sa voltage, which is in terms of volts. So, that's why we have the relationship between electric potential and also voltage. Because again, voltage is the electric potential difference okay so let's also have another example on how to solve for the electric potential difference so let's say again we have a resistor let's have it as capital letter r and then we have two points let's say we have point a and point b so let's have point a as negative 30 volts and point b as 90 volts okay so now so again our va our va is negative 30 volts and our vb is positive 90 volts or 90 volts okay so now if we want to solve for the electric potential difference at point or from Point A to point B, we have V, B, A. So, our final, so let's say for example, we are asked to solve for the electric potential from point A to point B. So, it means na point A is our initial electric potential and point B will be our final electric potential. So, in this case, mauna si point B. So, point B will be our final value and point A will be our initial value. So, we have VBA which is VB minus VA. So, here our VB is 90 volts minus our VA is negative 30 volts. So, see si VBA is equal to, we have 90 so, we have negative times negative, it becomes positive. So, 90 plus 30 is we have 120 volts. So, again, this is from point A to point B. Now, if we go the other way, we have from point B to point A. It means na si point B will be now our initial and point A will be our final. So, we have V, A, B. So, is equal to, we have V sub A minus V sub 
B. So, VA is negative 30 volts minus our VB is 90 volts. So, VAB is equal to, we have negative 30 minus 90. So, if you will calculate that one, it is equal to negative 120 volts. Okay, so again, that is how you would solve for the electric potential difference from point A to point B or from point B to point A. So, again, it depends. It's either from point A to point B and or from point B to point, B, uh, point A or the other way around. Okay, so now here we have an example. How much work is required to move a negative 500 microcoulomb charge across a potential difference of positive 300 volts? Okay, so now in this case we are asked to solve for the work. But ang ato ang and uh, hibal ano nga equation is for the electric potential. Okay, so before we solve for that, let's have or let's find an equation for work that will relate to the electric potential. Okay, so now take note um, for the work, work is equal to the change in kinetic energy. Nani siya sa topic ng work and energy. And also, work is equal to the negative of the change in potential energy. So, we will be using this one to solve for, uh, to find the equation for the work later. Okay. And also, take note na, we have the electric potential difference, delta V, which is again, um, VB minus VA. Let's say we have from point A to point B. Okay. So now, take note. We will be using this one. So we have, um, let's have it as delta V is equal to VB minus VA. Okay. So now, Diba potential or electric potential equation V is equal to so ganito yung equation ni electric potential it is equal to the pot electric potential energy divided by the charge Q or point charge Q so for VB it will be the electric potential energy at point B divided by Q minus UA or the electric potential energy at point A divided by Q. Okay, so now since we have a common common variable which is Q, so we will factor out 1 over Q. So we have 1 over Q times we have the difference UB minus UA. So, we have now the difference of the potential energy. So, now, if we have 1 over Q times the change in the electric potential energy. Okay. So, we have delta V is equal to 1 over Q. Now, take note na si work is equal to the negative of the change in potential energy. So, the change in potential energy is equal to the negative of work. So, again, we have work is equal to the negative change in potential energy. So, multiplying both sides with negative. So, we have negative work is equal to positive change in potential energy. So, that's why we substituted the value for the change in potential energy by negative work. Okay. So, now it becomes negative work over Q for delta V. But again, we will be, or we will find the equation for work in terms of electric potential. Okay. So now, what we need to do next is to multiply both sides with negative 
Q so that we can solve for or we can find the equation for work. So what will happen is we have negative Q times delta V is equal to now cancel out C negative here and also the 1 over Q and Q. So we have work. So now the equation for work in terms of electric potential is we have work is equal to negative of the times point charge times the change in or the voltage or the electric potential difference. Okay, so now we have our equation that we can use to solve for example number one. Okay, so here our given values is we have the charge Q which is equal to negative 500 microcoulomb or negative 500 so micro is times 10 to the power of negative 6 coulomb and then we have a potential difference of positive 300 volts so we are given delta V which is positive 300 volts okay so again we are asked to solve for the work that is required to move the charge across the potential difference of positive 300 volts so again using this equation work is equal to the negative times the point charge times we have the potential difference delta v okay so we have q and we have delta v so we can solve for the work done so we have negative times we have our point charge is negative 500 times 10 to the power of negative 6 coulomb and then multiplied it by positive 300 volts okay so if you will calculate this one it so we have negative times negative, it becomes positive. So we have 500 times 10 to the power of negative 6 coulomb times 300 volts. So if we will calculate this one, we will arrive with 0 0.15 joules. Okay. So nga nung joules man? Again, volt, 1 volt is equivalent to 1 joule per 1 Coulomb. So, if we will substitute this one in terms of joules and coulomb, we have this becomes positive 300 joules per coulomb. So, that's why we cancel out C coulomb. So, we are left with joule or joules, which is again the unit for work. So, we have the work required is equal to 0 0.15 joule for the point charge to move across a potential difference of 300 or positive 300 volts so that is for example number one okay so we proceed with another example so example number two we have here 100 joules of work was done by an electric field on a positive 5 coulomb to accelerate it from point A to point B. Okay. So now, we have two questions here. For letter A, is we are asked to solve for the voltage across points A and B. So if we will draw a diagram of this situation. So let's say we have, this is our point A. And this is our point B. And then we have a positive point charge positive 5 coulomb to accelerate it from point A to point B so it will accelerate from point A to point B so the question here is what is the voltage across points A and B or what is the electric potential the voltage or the um, electric potential difference okay diba the uh, voltage is defined as the electric potential difference so for letter a 
we will solve for the electric potential difference across points A and B, which is C delta V. So we, are, we will solve for delta V. Okay, so we start with letter A first. So the given values are, we have the work, which is equal to 100 joules. And also we are given the value of the charge Q, which is positive 5 coulomb or coulombs. Okay, so now, ang ato lang na ibalaan nga formula that has work and um, point charge is we have work is equal to negative times point charge times delta V. But we will be solving for delta V. So, we will multiply, I mean divide both sides with negative Q so that we can find the equation to solve for delta V. So, ma-cancel out sa negative Q here. So, delta V is equal to work divided by negative uh, times the point charge. So, we have the value of the work and then we also have the value of the point charge Q so we can solve for delta V or the electric potential difference across points A and B. Okay. So, we have work is 100 joules divided by negative of positive 5 coulomb. So, our delta V is equal to, so we have 100 divided by negative times positive is negative. So, negative 5 coulombs. So, if we will calculate this one, delta V is equal to negative 20 volts or negative 20 joules per coulomb which is again just equal to um, volts or equivalent to volts so our delta v or our voltage across points a and b will be is equal to negative 20 volts okay so now for letter b if the electric potential at point A, so again, we will redraw. So this is point A and point B. And then we have a charge, positive charge here, Q. So if the electric potential at point A is 50 volts, so let's say we have, this is 50 volts. What is the electric potential at point B? Okay, so take note na delta V from the previous question, delta V is equal to negative 20 volts. Okay. So now, how can we determine the electric potential at point B? Okay. So again, diba, we have two options. It's either we calculate the electric potential difference from point A to point B, or we can calculate the electric potential difference at point B, uh, from point B to point A. So... Let's say, let's start first with from point A to point B. So, we have VBA. So, this is our delta V. VBA is equal to VB minus VA. Okay. So, now, we have negative 20 volts is equal to VB minus our VA is 50 volts. So now, if we will transpose negative 50 volts to the other side of the equation, so it becomes positive. So we have 50 volts minus 20 volts is, our, is equal to our VB. So meaning our VB is equal to 50 minus 20 is equal to 30 volts. So again, this is if we are solving for uh, the potential from point A or electric potential from point A to point B. Now, how about, how about if from point B to point A? So, we have delta V is VAB, which is, again, our point A will be now our final value and point B will be our initial value. So, we have VA minus VB 
Okay, so our, again, our delta V is negative 20 volts is equal to our VA is 50 volts minus VB. Okay, so now we will transpose negative VB to the left side of the equation so that it becomes positive. And also we will transpose negative 20 volts to the right side of the equation. So it becomes we have VB is equal to we have 50 volts plus 20 volts. So our VB is 70 volts. So we have two different answers. So for letter B. So again, it depends if asa tanga point mag start and so, if we are starting from point A to point B, si VB is equal to 30 volts. But if we start from point A to point, uh, from point B to point A, I mean, our VB is equal to 70 volts. So, again, it really depends kung asa nga to ang starting point. So, given the delta V or the change or the voltage, or the electric potential difference. So we can solve, we have two different answers for the electric potential at point B depending on the, our starting point. So again, that is for our example number 2. Okay, so now... We go to the electric potential energy. So, katong atong previous nga discuss is electric potential. So, this one is electric potential energy. So, they are different. So, notice na si electric potential is V is equal to we have D. Sa ganito yung formula ni electric potential. Electric potential is equal to the potential energy U divided by the point charge Q. So again, this is electric potential. But the electric potential energy, we have capital letter U. So capital letter U, so electric potential energy is equal to negative times the electric field so, E here is the electric field times the point charge Q times Y. Okay, now, kinsa man si Y. Okay, so, let's say, for example, we consider, let's say we have two, two metal plates. So, this metal plate has a positive, or is positively charged, and then this one is negatively charged charge okay so let's say we have a positive point charge so diba, from the electric field na topic if we have a positive point charge the um the direction of the electric field is moving away from the point charge which is on this case is going to the negatively charged plate so mo yung direction sa itong electric field and also the force of a point charge is on the same direction sa so directions at ang electric field. So, also the force is going to the negatively charged plate. Okay. So, let's say we have this is our point A and this is our point B. So, from point A, kaning distance from point A Let's say this one is our ground or kaning negatively charged plate is our ground. So, from here, from point A to the ground, we call it as YA. And also, from point B to the ground, we call it as YB. Okay. So, now, electric potential energy if we want to solve for the electric potential energy at point A given the uh, general equation for the electric potential energy so 
If we want to solve for the electric potential energy at point A, it is equal to the negative times the electric field times Q or the point charge and then times Y sub A or Y is the height or the vertical distance from point A to the ground. So, kanya siya si point uh, Y sub A. And also, if you want to solve for the electric potential energy at point B, it is equal to, again, the negative times electric field times Q times Y sub B, or the vertical distance or the height from point B to the ground, which is, again, our negatively charged plate. Okay. So, this is our... Um, formula for the electric potential energy. So again, uh, the unit for the unit of electric potential energy, it is still the same with work and energy, which is in terms of joule or joules. Okay. So again, it's different from the electric potential. Okay, ang unit sa electric potential is in terms of volts. So, again, it is related to voltage, which is, again, the voltage is equal to, or voltage is the electric potential difference. So, okay, basin, maglibog mo, on say difference, the electric potential energy and electric potential. So, again, electric potential energy, when we, we have the energy, no word right here, so, our unit is in terms of joule or joules and for the electric potential we have in it is in terms of volt or volts okay so now let's have an example for the electric potential energy okay example number one we have right here a positive 50 micro coulomb point charge moves from point a to point b so as shown in the diagram below so, the magnitude of the electric field, okay, so let's write the given. So, we have a point charge, Q, which is positive 50 or uh, micro coulomb, or it is equal to positive 50 times 10 to the power of negative 6. Again, micro is equal to uh, times 10 or is equivalent to times 10 to the power of negative 6. So, 50 microcoulomb is equal to 50 times 10 to the power of negative 6 coulomb. So, again, we have a point charge Q, which is positive 50 times 10 to the power of negative 6. Okay. So, the magnitude of the electric field is this one. So, we, have, we are given the value of the electric field, which is 2 times 10 to the power of positive 6 newtons per coulomb. Okay, so points A and B are 80 centimeters and 20 centimeters above the negatively charged plate. So, our negatively charged plate is our ground. So, from point A to the ground, the distance is this one right here. The distance is 80 centimeters. And from point B to the ground, it is 20 centimeters. So, it means na Y sub A is 80 centimeters and we have Y sub B is 20 centimeters. Okay, so we will first convert Y A and Y B from centimeters to meter. So, 80 centimeters is equal to 0 0.8 or 0 0.80 meter and yb is 0 0.20 meter because again one meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters so that's why we have 80 centimeters is equal to 0 0.80 meter and 20 centimeters is equal to 0 0.20 meter okay so, now we have A, B, and C for us to solve. Now, we will start with letter A. So, letter A is to calculate the electric potential energy. So, electric potential energy at points A and B. So, 
for letter A is we need to solve u sub a and also u sub b or the electric potential energy at points a and b. So using this equation, this one, so we have negative times electric field times the Q or the point charge times YA. And for UB, we have negative EQ times YB. Okay. So now we have the values of electric field, the value of the point charge, as well as YA and YB. So we can solve for the electric potential energy at points A and B. Okay. So substituting their corresponding values, we have negative times positive I'm sorry. It is the electric field. Okay, electric field is 2 times 10 to the power of positive 6 newtons per coulomb times we have Q is 50 times 10 to the power of negative 6 coulomb. And then we have our Y sub A is 0 0.80 meter. Okay, so here notice na si Coulomb will be cancelled out. So we are left with Newton times meter. But take note na Newton times meter is equivalent to Joule. Okay, diba for the work, work is equal to force times distance. So the force, unit for force, diba Joules. So unit for force is Newton and the unit for the distance is in terms of meter so one joule is just equivalent to one newton times meter because again electric potential energy or the unit for electric potential energy is in terms of joule or joules okay okay so now here notice na electric field wala siya ga mention if positive or negative but when we look at the figure Notice that the direction of the electric field is going downwards or is pointing downwards, which means na kanisi electric field is negative because again it is going to the negative y axis. So in this case, si 2 times 10 to the power of 6 newtons per coulomb is a negative. So We have negative times negative becomes positive. So we have 2 times 10 to the power of 6 times 50 times 10 to the power of negative 6 times 0 0.80. Now the our electric potential energy at point A is equal to 80 joules. Okay. Now also for the electric potential energy at point B, so we have again negative times, again negative C electric field because it is pointing towards the negative Y or it is moving towards the negative Y axis. So we have newtons per coulomb. Then times, we have 50 times 10 to the power of negative 6 coulombs times our YB is 0 0.20 meter. Okay, so again, cancel out C1 over Coulomb and the Coulomb here. So we are left with Newton times meter or again, it is equal to Joule or Joules. Okay, so our U sub B or our electric potential energy at point B is we have, so negative times negative, again, it becomes positive. So 2 times 10 to the power of 6 Newtons per Coulomb. I mean, um, cancel out the C Coulomb times 50 times 10 to the power of negative 6 times 0 0.20 is equal to 20 joules. Okay, so for letter A, our electric potential energy at point A is equal to 80 joules and our electric potential energy at point B is equal to 20 joules. Okay. So now, we are done with letter A. Now we proceed with letter B. So for letter B, the question here is how much work is done to move the charge from point A to point B? Okay. So now, take note. Again, work 
is equal to the change in kinetic energy or it is also equal to the negative change in potential energy or we say electric potential. So work is equal to negative change in potential energy. So diba, we have the values for the electric potential energy at point A and electric potential energy at point B, which is, again, UA is 80 joules and we have UB is 20 joules. So work is equal to negative of UB minus UA. Okay, so we have the value for our U sub B or electric potential difference, uh, electric potential energy at point A as well as at point B. So we can solve for the work done. Okay, so we have here work is equal to negative of UB is 20 joules minus 80 joules. Okay, so 20 minus 80 is equal to negative 60 joules. So negative times negative, our work is equal to positive 60 joules. So this is our answer for letter B, which is how much work is done to move the charge from point A to point B. So the work required para mo move si point charge from point A to point B is equal to positive 60 joules. Okay. So we are done with letter B. Now for letter C, we are asked to solve for the electric potential. So this is our letter C. We need to solve the electric potential at points A and B. So again, electric potential at point A and the electric potential at point B. Okay. So, diba again, our given are we have the electric potential energy at point A and the electric potential energy at point B. So, we have UA is 80 joules and UB is 20 joules. So, magamit na to siya to solve for the electric potential at point A and point B. Okay. So, to solve for the electric potential, the electric potential V is equal to the electric potential energy divided by the point charge Q. So, by the way, si Q is positive 50 times 10 to the power of negative 6 coulomb. Okay. So, to solve for VA, VA is equal to UA divided by Q. While the electric potential at point B is equal to electric potential energy at point B divided by Q. Okay, so let's start with VA. So we have our U sub A is 80 joules divided by 50 times 10 to the power of negative 6 coulomb. So VA or the electric potential at point A is how much? Okay, so let's calculate. So, 80 divided by 50 times 10 to the power of negative 6, it is equal to 1.6 million. Or, we have 1.6 times 10 to the power of positive 6. And then, we have our unit is joules over coulomb is equal, equal to volts or volt. So, our electric potential at point A is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the power of positive 6 volts. Okay. Now, we proceed to electric potential at point B. So, UB is 20 joules divided by 50 times 10 to the power of negative 6 coulomb. So, our VB or the electric potential at point B is... We have 400,000 or we can also have it as 4 times 10 to the power of positive 5. 
again we have volts so this is the electric potential at point b so again for letter C, the electric potential at point A is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the power of positive 6 volts. And the electric potential at point B is equal to 4 times 10 to the power of positive 5 volts. Okay. So, that is our... Example number one. Okay, so now that's it for our discussion uh, for the electric potential and electric potential energy.